Hi, I'm RJ Straw, aka Young Shepherd, owner of RJ Scooties and Born on the Web .com. Welcome to Video Cast 3. Today we're going to talk about alpacas. We went and got our alpacas today, and we had lots of fun, met a nice family in southern Oklahoma, and got to meet two great alpacas, Juno and Charlie. They are very sweet, they need a little bit of work with their halters, but that'll come in time. We learned a lot about their nutrition and their uh, minerals that they need. They take a sheep mineral, just like what we have out for the sheep, so that'll be good for them. They also uh, do great on the feed that we have. We'll be doing good with that. They don't eat much feed. They eat lots of hay, but they don't have a particular season for breeding either. They breed anytime, kind of like a cat. But Dad learned how to uh, trim the teeth because we'll have to trim their teeth up because if you don't, it will actually mess up their mouths, he said. So we're going to learn how to do that. Dad learned right there how to do it because I trimmed trolleys before we took him, so I wouldn't have to worry about it for a while. But we'll have to trim their toenails, too, which is really cool. We put him in the trailer, and then we sat around and talked for a while. He has different pins of alpacas. He has his fan, his uh, females with, his ba with the babies by their side out in one pin, which is a big pin. And then they have the littler pin where we got Juno and Charlie from. And then they have this uh, medium-sized pin that's got all their herd sires in it, which is really cool because they all come up to the fence, want you to pet on them and catch them and take them to breed is what she said. But uh, they're all really fun. You can see them playing and bucking and stuff. The thing is that they'll be all nicey-nice, and then if one touched one, they'll spit at them, which is really funny. But we learned a lot of new different tricks and Thanks for catching alpacas and that we all had fun today. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you later. It's me again. The, we got Juno and Charlie, which is their names. They gave us the papers to get them registered. See? Okay. Um, which one have we decided to register? We're going to register Juno, which is the paper I showed you. Um, we are going to register him because. Which one is he? He's the caramel color. Register him because they're gonna get us two females, hopefully, that we can get and breed them, and that we will have baby alpacas around, which are Creo, I think. Is what they call okay, what's so spectacular about? Um. They are so spectacular because Juno's dad was a nine time show champion, and his mom was a two or three time champion. Don't remember exactly how big, but she was a big girl. We had lunch with them, and they talked to Mom and Dad about a bunch of different things. I can't recall what all we talked about, but it was a lot okay. of stuff. Charlie. Charlie is going to be, uh, we're going to catch no. him. But his mom is and a his true mom black. is a true black. A fine hair. A fine hair. So. He's very well bred. They have like seven or eight different. Herd sires they have almost a, they have over a hundred uh, alpacas there on the place, which is really cool because the guy owns like half the valley, but he only uses like right there by his house for his alpacas, which is really cool. I think that's all I have to say, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. It has been 12 hours, 12 hours, and we are just now getting the careers home. We have nine more miles to go. Welcome to video cast three. I'm RJ Shaw, a.k.a. Young Shepherd, owner of RJ's Cuties at BarnumLock.com. In other news, we have farm news. Mom and Dad are letting me lease 10 acres off them at right there at the front of the house so we can fence it off with the alpacas, the sheep, and the goats. We can also uh, let the guard dog have a little bit bigger run and let him uh, see if he'll calm down so we don't ever have to have him tied out anymore. We're going to get our alpacas today. So that's going to be very interesting. We have a three and a half hour drive and we're videota uh, videotaping in the truck for the video cast. So helping you guys get a little bit closer to the action. Mom's going to take some videos of us trying to load the alpacas and get in the shots and stuff before we take them home so that way you guys can see them. In 4-H news, I have a county meeting tonight. That's going to be when we get the alpacas home and stuff, I have to go to my county meeting. In rodeo news, my next rodeo is February 5th, Super Bowl Sunday. That's going to be very interesting to see who all stays home by Super Bowl and who all shows up. In school, 
I still have two C's. I'm working them up. They're high C's, but not B's yet. So, entertainment. I've been watching uh, old time Western videos, movie series is, is what they call them. Um, the Kiss Go Kids sidekick is my favorite person at all of them I've watched. Thank you guys for watching. Tune in next time. Thanks. Bye. Bye.